In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best U-Trips defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about helping people become better at Madden, both offensively and defensively. Every day on YouTube, we release tips and strategies that are designed to break down some of the most innovative and tactical things that you can do to become a better player. Now, uh, again, if you're new to the channel and you haven't hit the subscribe button, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date whenever we release new videos or share new ideas for you guys um, to be able to check that out. Now, uh, we're going to be going over the nickel 335 Y today, and the play we're going to be going over is Mike Blitz 3. This is my favorite way to defend U trips, and I actually don't prefer using zone drops whenever I defend this formation, primarily because I think that match defense is really the best way to play this. So my option defense is going to be on conservative, ball and air defense is going to be set to play ball, and then from there I'm going to kind of roll with it. So I'm going to come out in 335 normal just to get better personnel on the field, and then I'm going to grab the U trips here, and I'm going to grab a couple of the popular passing concepts. Um, from this from this playbook. So the first one uh, would probably be the PA fork. Obviously, that's one of the more popular ones. Another one that's really, really good um, is this Pats, or I apologize, the tight end whip. And then we've got the curl flat. We've also got, uh, and then we, uh, we're also going to leverage this uh, this Pats slot out here for you guys. So, so basically, the setup for this is actually relatively simple. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to audible down to that Mike Blitz 3, and this is really important. Whenever you're facing a formation like U-Trips that uses a lot of pulling guard style of runs, we're actually gonna shift our defensive line to the right here, and we're gonna kind of put our user right in here. This is gonna give us a better chance of stopping the run. We're then gonna crash our defensive line out. We're obviously pressing coverage every single time. And then the trick here is we're actually gonna put, uh, we're creating a cover four on the right side. So we're gonna put our outside corner on the right into a outside quarter. We're putting our safety on the right into an inside quarter. And then on the left side of the field uh, to help us with getting uh, deep bombed and things like that, we're going to go ahead and put him into a deep half. As you can see right here, this is kind of the, the way we're gonna be playing. Now, as far as adjustments goes, uh, the adjustments are actually really simple from that point. So we're going to throw the defensive end on the right into a bluff blitz. So you see here he's going to do a good job against underneath routes, little quick routes and things like that. And then uh, the last little step here is to figure out what to do on the right and left. So what I personally like to do, this is just my personal um, advice to you, is I like to man up the running back. Um, that's going to take away pretty much anything the running back is going to want to do. That's going to help a lot with that. And then what I like to do from there is I also like to go ahead and man up that R1 receiver. Um, the only the only other thing that I would do is if I didn't want to man up the R1 receiver, then what I would do is I would basically um, go ahead and man up the square receiver opposite of him because he's oftentimes going to be on post routes and things like that. So as you can see, that's a, a very effective way to play. Another thing that you can do if you were going to do something like that is you could drop uh, the square defender into a hard flat and basically just know that you're going to have to go get the running back. If he goes on a route, you can even man up the running back. But you can kind of do these. These two linebackers right here are kind of free. You can do whatever you want with these two guys. Amos and Renbin, you can do whatever you want. Okay, You don't have to do one thing or the other thing. Um, you're going to have good coverage on the right side, so you don't have to put him in man coverage on the right side guy. Um, you, know, you could just leave it just like this. I probably, honestly... I probably would just man him up on the square, and then I would I would just take care of the running back myself um, would be my recommendation just because that's the easiest. I mean, you, you just have to kind of sit in this area to take that away, and you're going to be able to do that because the right side is going to have fairly solid coverage. Um, if you wanted to drop, you know, if you wanted to, you could do that, or you could even do that. You could drop a hard flat to the right side. So you see I've got Mabel, basic Mabel coverage there on the right. And then on the left side, I've got this, this cross man here inside leverage, you know, so I could do that. Or I could even just do hard flats if I wanted to do hard flats. Those are all adjustments that are up to you. But really the, the base is to the seam flats are really the important piece. So what's going to happen here is let's say that I, let's say that I run the play uh, Pat slot out. Okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that wheel. I'm going to put that wheel right out there and I'm just going to roll with that. What you're going to notice is, again, where you're covering, right? This is going to do really, really good. You're going to have everything taken care of. You're going to be able to pretty much cover everything. Now, the pat slot out play is the play that is the hardest to stop, in my personal opinion. And so 
that that's just my personal opinion. That play is the hardest to stop um, just because it has that stock fade on that left side. And what's going to happen is if you deep half, and I want to show this real quick. If you deep half, and let's say you play hard flats, I just want you to watch the square receiver and what's going to happen. So I'm going to motion this guy across. I got the wheel route right there. And I just want you to watch the square receiver. You're going to see that he's going to get off of the line of scrimmage really fast. And you see that he's just in a really weird alignment. And so he's got a great opportunity to be able to get over the top of that coverage. That's the one issue with this. And that's why I say, you know, you want to have somebody there on man coverage. Another option, if you don't want to do that, would be to just leave the end, just leave that third on the left side there. Uh, that's another thing that you could do. So if you wanted to do that, you can. Um, you can play cover three-ish, you know what I mean? And you're going to see that if they, if I use an outside third now, if you just kind of watch what happens here, um, the square receiver is not going to – I mean, he's going to get covered. You see he's going to get back on the ball. He's going to take it away. He's going to take away that fade. The, the one thing is with that is let's say, for example, they did something like – let's say they did something like the play – uh, let me show you. Whoops, I accidentally messed up my adjustments. Uh, they did something like a, a corner route flood or something. So from Pat Slot out, I'll try to show it the best I can. Um, but basically they took, you know, Devontae Adams, they put him on like a smart routed out route or something like that. And then obviously you set your adjustments up just like this. And again, we're playing quarters on the right side. The one problem is, as you see here, there's no one in the deep middle. Um, that's the one issue with that. That's why I would suggest... Um, you know, having some cross man on whoever that might be. So, you know, if that's the tight end, if that's the slot, I would definitely man up the slot. I just think the slot is the player that he's going to do a bunch of random stuff. So you want to make sure you have that taken care of. And then the slot and the running back, and then you're basically match coverage onto square. But if you watch this right here, the tight end could be a problem. Um, you'll see here. So if the if I run this combination, you're going to see here, this is what I'm talking about. See how the tight end gets over the top. So that's that's one. That's an example of what I'm talking about. So the easy solution to that would just be to user that if you wanted to, um, because your user responsibility is going to be kind of right in here, anyways. Um, you know, that's where your user responsibility is going to be. So you don't, you know, you don't have to get too, you know, you don't have to get too crazy with this. But you have no idea how good this quarter's coverage on that right side is going to be, especially if they motion. If they motion. Um, which if they're running if they're running this this offense correctly they're going to use motion like I almost guarantee it but if they motion on this stuff man like you are just going to play some really really good defense like it's going to be hard for them to be able to move those seam flats whenever they motion into a two by two set that's what's going to be really worth it and that's really why we're calling this play for the seam, it's for the seam flats but basically what's going to happen is those seam flats are going to begin matching you know, so you could even do something as simple as something like this here, where you are, again, you're basically, you know, you've got vert hooks on the field. So let's say that they go to the play. Oh, gosh, I forgot to bring it out with me. Um, let's say they go to the play with the pat, you know, the seam wheel thing. And let's just say that they take that circle receiver, if I can get on him here, and they're going to motion him uh to the outside here. And I just want you to watch how these vert hooks will do a really good job. The seam flats will do a really good job. Those seam flats won't let the wheel beat them, as you can see right there. And so that's that's the beauty of not using zone drops. If you don't use zone drops, they match coverage very nicely, and they just take away a lot of stuff. So anyways, that's the for my money right now, this is the easiest defense to use. Uh, what I would recommend doing is probably have a, you know, a cross man situation where I have inside leverage on both of these guys here, as you can see. And then from there, I would just, I mean, really the only person that can give you a lot of trouble is the tight end. But due to the match coverage and the, the way that these coverage techniques are going to play, if you do something like what I just showed you with where we're manning up that square receiver so that he can't get over the top on a deep half situation, um, you're going to have a lot of success. I mean, you're just, again, you're just lurking here. As you can see, that deep half gets back on the tight end, and you've just taken away everything. So that, to me, is is probably the best way to play defense right now against the U-Trips offense. U-Trips offense is really a good offense. 
is probably one of my favorite ones that I've ran all season. Um, and so, anyways, but this is this is the the defense that I would recommend. Now, if you want to get my complete defensive ebook, my defensive guide for every formation in the game, it also gives you blitzes, five man blitzes, uh, six man blitzes, seven man blitzes. It even gives you some three man uh, user rushes and things like that. If you want to get the the whole defensive game plan or defensive guide that I have put together from the nickel three three five wide, it's on sale right now for just fifteen dollars. It's in the description. It will help you. I guarantee it. It's been the best defense all season long. It's been the best guide that I've released, um, just because I think it has actually practically helped people defensively. And so, if you're looking for help on defense to learn how to get stops. I would recommend that nickel three three five wide defense. It's the best defense in the game. It's just the bottom line, and uh, you can get that for just fifteen bucks in the description. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you want to get that ebook, you can get it in the description.